Hey Cancers, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to start the reading with the Rebel deck. So let's pull some cards first before we, we begin. Um, let's see, we have Rebel. <laughs> Rebel. Uh, because fuck it. They, there's something that you are rebelling against. You Maybe you're becoming rebellious because of all the bullshit that you have to deal with. And it could make you turn that way. Or maybe you're just not giving a fuck anymore. It says some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. Okay? Remember that. Remember that. Then we have they broke your heart. Fuck them. Okay? I'm going to end it there because... They broke your heart. Fuck them. This is why. Heartache and loss. There could have been someone that broke your heart, said something. They were constantly making you cry or they continue to make you cry. You make you feel like shit. You are going through your in constant sorrow all the time. And it's just like weighing down on you all the fucking time. And it could be a Gemini because a lover's card came out. This is a Gemini. This could represent a choice. In regards to a lover, a choice in regards to your work or your um, career. Please forgive the sound of people are in my garage. Uh, there's definitely something that has to do with the Gemini or a decision that needs to be made. Okay, You need to heal because we have temperance reverse. You need to hear, heal from the heartache and the loss and the sorrow that this person is causing you. Or that you are allowing them to cause to you constantly. Okay, we also have the Seven of Wands. This is you definitely feeling like you're getting pushed against the wall, like you have no choice but to put up with it or you have no choice but to deal with it or you just feel like you're constantly having to defend yourself at all times and your beliefs and how you feel in regards to the situation, okay? Um, you need to follow your intuition when it comes to this because we have the intuition card. Follow your intuition. What is it trying to tell you? This is screaming red flags all over the place. Are you tired of dealing with the same scenario over and over and over again? And you just keep finding yourself in sorrow, okay? Heartache and loss, continuing to lose battles or feeling like, you know, you have to defend yourself and this and that and you're the victim here. And it's no, you are continu continuously fucking allowing this to continue, Okay, yeah, I'm telling it like it is because you need to hear it. Okay, then we have trapped in fear. The reason why you're constantly trapped in fucking fear is because you're not strong enough to see the outcome. You don't believe in yourself enough. Okay, this could be fears that are holding you back from moving forward. This could be fears, stuck in fears of saying, oh, if I leave, I'm going to be... I'm not going to be good financially or I'm not going to find love again or I'm going to regret it and all these fears and doubts start going into your mind and it, it just keeps you stuck, okay? It stresses you out. It just makes you feel horrible. You got to remember, okay, with the MasterCard, you control your fears. You control that. You can switch it up at any time. You are the master of your own motherfucking destiny, okay? Remember who the fuck you are. Fix your crown. You're the master. You can change things. You co-create things. You can keep living the same life over and over again in sorrow because you're allowing it. Okay? Something good's about to happen just like it says. Okay? Don't fuck it up with your issues. This could be a huge issue that you're dealing with, that you've been constantly dealing with, and that's what fucks it up. Do not block your abundance because you're dealing with the same fucking shit. When you feel... Okay, when you're in sorrow and stuff like that, and you're constantly finding yourself having to heal and heal and heal and stitching yourself up like the girl from um, Nightmare Before Christmas, Sally, always having to stitch yourself back up. Um, you got to remember, when you feel this way, you feel like, okay, why am I alive? Why? What's my purpose in life? And why do I need to exist? And you start questioning your existence. That's why the existence card is here. You got to remember, you're here for a reason. But there's something clouding your mind. It's, it's clouding your everything because you're focusing too much on an outcome, on a person, or a motherfucking situation that you're not letting go of. Okay? You got to let go, let flow. This is why you're constantly stuck in the same scenario. Okay? It's you, not the person. 
because you're allowing it. They think it's okay, so they keep doing it. Or the, the scenario, whatever it is that you're dealing with. Same shit over and over again, but that's your fault because you're allowing it, okay? Remember, you're the master. You decide what your destiny is. Nobody else. You have that power, okay? And the only thing holding you back is fear, and that's keeping you stuck and trapped, okay? You are here for a reason. You are born to exist. You have a calling. You have a reason here, okay? Look at that. The shooting star. You are destined for something great. Something good's coming in. Don't fuck it up with your issues like it says. Okay? You will soon find out why you were here. Okay? Maybe it was to teach this person causing you all this trauma or whatever. Maybe you were here to be their angel. And you're like, how am I supposed to be their angel if they're constantly fucking me up? Well, you guess what? Usually when that happens, they end up being their own downfall you end up falling but you pick, pick yourself back up find your fucking wings because that's what you're here for okay heal yourself for the last time that's your decision that's the decision you need to make especially with this person do you want them to keep breaking your heart uh-uh fuck them simple as that fuck them all right so that's that's all I'm saying. You have a purpose. Quit questioning or or doubting your existence because of this person. You really want them to have this much power over you? Snap out of it. I should slap you right now. Awake. Okay? So remember that this upcoming week. Something's good's about to happen. Don't fuck it up with your issues. All right, Cancer, I love you very much. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in your next video.